Brian, what's the feeling waking up on a morning like this? You guys have a lot of chances. You just can't get it past Bobrovsky. Uh, you know, you had, you had some chances yourself. What's the feeling, you know, a day after? Um, I mean, I think it's uh, um, encouraging in some ways, uh, the way that we played. Obviously, um, you, you want to stack up as many wins as you can as er early as you can in a series. But, I mean, it's a, it's a best of seven, and uh, it's, a, um, it's, it's a race to four. So, um, Thought we did a lot of good things last night. We couldn't find a way to, to, to beat them, but um, at the same time, we can wake up, uh, have a good day here, and, um, and stay confident within our group. Stay in the front left, Matt. Yeah, Leon, obviously Ryan just said you guys did a lot of the right things last night, but what are some of the things you might look to do differently tomorrow night? Um, I don't know. I thought we played a good game. Um, created a lot of looks for ourselves, especially in the first uh, two periods. Um, obviously, their goalie uh, had a great night. Um, you know, those things happen sometimes. Um, but I think if we can do more of the same more often than not, um, you know, I think we're, we're giving ourselves a really good chance to, to win hockey games. Front right, Steven. Leon, what's the key to, to not getting frustrated when you face a goalie like Bobrovsky who makes those kind of saves and, and, and to try to not squeeze the stick too tight and, and kind of make a, enough adjustments to not get frustrated by it? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, with our group, we're, we're always going to get our looks. We're, we're always going to get chances. Um, but I think just the mindset of knowing that he's going to make some good, good saves, that that's just uh, – he's, he's a good goalie and he's going to make some, some big-time saves. And, and knowing that um, – is important, but obviously, like you said, not grip, grip your sticks too tight and um, can you continue to play loose and just continue to play our game. Third row left, Mark. Leon, you had a guy in your line last night, Evander Kane. Um, he's been going through it all year. He's been injured. He doesn't ever practice because he's you know, no doubt recovering or whatever it is. Um, trying his best to help your team but not finding a way to help your team as much as he usually does. Can you just speak to us about a guy who's who's playing with whatever he's got, but maybe doesn't have as much as he wish he had? Uh, yeah, it's it's hard. Uh, it's a hard time of year to, to, to play, of course. And, um, you know, everybody's playing through things. He's obviously, um, you know, dealing with, with some things. And um, he, he, he wants to be out there. He wants to help our group. And um, he, he's given it, uh, you know, everything he's got. Front right, Tim. Ryan. You guys have been obviously really good at bouncing back after losses all, pl all playoffs. And really, when you go back all year, you got, the offense gets held down one night. You bounce back the next night, usually in a pretty big way. How much confidence does that give you guys that you have had a history of this resiliency, of this bounce back ability? Yeah, I think it's it's been a, uh, a great trait of ours throughout the whole season, um, our ability to bounce back. Um, even period to period sometimes. And uh, of course, you're going to go through tough stretches through the season. and. It's how you respond to that. So um, it, even through the playoffs, we've been able to do that. So, I mean, we should take that confidence. And obviously, we don't take it for granted, thinking that it's just going to happen. Uh, we know that they're probably going to step their game up too. We're going to have to step our game up and uh, prepare for that. But um, our ability to do it all season uh, is a good sign. And uh, that's why you prepare for it throughout the seasons for moments like this. Left side, Derek. Hey, Leon. Um, I just want to get a thought on, on the importance of trying to get the split going back home here. And I know Chris said last night that you guys played really well, but he expects a bigger push from the Panthers tomorrow. And are you guys ready for that push from them? Yeah, we're ready for any team's push. That's that's why we're in the situation that we're in right now. Um, we're, we're a really good hockey team um, that, believe it or not, can can play better than last night too. We we got more. We know that. We, we can still play better. And... Um, they're going to be better, uh, and and I expect us to be better as well. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course, it's it's big. You you want to go home uh, w with a split, and um, you know, I think it's it's the old cliche. You you go on the road to come home with a split, right? So um, tomorrow tomorrow is a big game for us, um, but even even if it doesn't go our way, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. We'll take a few more back, right, Daniel? Uh, this is probably more uh, more of a pertinent question for Ryan, but either one of you can chime in if you'd like. Um, can you describe what Sam Gagne means to this team, and especially for you, Ryan, you know, as a young player coming in, how he helps you along? 
Yeah, he um, <clears throat> he was definitely one of the guys that uh, when I first came in, uh, I, I could look up to. He'd gone through a similar experience as me four years prior. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's he's been a part of this organization. I feel like even when he kind of went away, he was still always felt like an oiler. So uh, we lived together my my second year and uh, I've known Sam for, for a long time. So... He's big in our room and uh, big around the guys, and um, obviously a, a great hockey player, but I've learned a lot from him. We'll take three more. Right side, Pierre. Leon, there's probably no wrong answer here, but you know, playing with Connor or not playing with him, spreading out the offense or loading up, it's obviously been both cases over the years for both of you. How much communication do you have with the coaching staff about when it's going to happen or not, or is it really in the moment most times? Uh, yeah, I think you said it. I think we've done it for so many years. We've done it for so long that, um, you you know, we can go shift to shift. Um, you know, it's the same scenario for, for Nuggy. We're, we're so used to it that we can go shift to shift, period to period, game to game, whatever it is. Um, you know, our team is so versatile that way that, um, you know, anybody can really, really play with anybody. Center left, Jim. Uh, Ryan, this is for you. You had a breakaway last night, and Bobrovsky made a really good save. How much scouting of the other, other goalie do you get from Dustin? And from what I understand, the book on him is that he's given up 31 of his 38 goals on high shots, and he made a ton of saves low last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, Dust yeah, I mean, Schwartz, he definitely gave us some stuff, and um, like you said, he's, he is so good low. Uh, obviously, if I could do it again, I'm going to try to get that up um, uh, over his pad. And even then, I mean, he, he's really quick side to side. So, um, yeah, I, I think when he, when he gets moving side to side, obviously, you want to you want to get it high. That's that's your best chance. He's he's an athletic goalie, so he's going to take up most of the bottom of the net. Um, we had a f we had a few looks like that where y you think you got him, um, but he's he doesn't quit on it. So, I mean, of course, if I could go back or if I have a little more time on that on that play um, probably do it a little bit different um, in the moment uh, of course you ha you have what the the scouting report is but you're also just reading the play and and making the best play that you can last one fourth row on the right Steve Leon what if anything did you learn about the Panthers in, in the third period last night in particular the last 10 minutes where they seemed to squeeze the life out of the game uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good team. Um, you know, they know how to play with a lead. Um, they they did a good job uh, in, in the third period, I thought. And um, 